Okay, folks. So um, I'm jumping around doing several different things. I've got the 3800 going, and uh, to that end, I've also got uh, some things I'm doing on the uh, Foundry product pro project. Uh, I uh, I won't get too far in depth with it, but uh, the crucibles for the uh, for Frank are pretty expensive. And when it comes to the uh, lesser metals like the aluminums and the brass or what have you, I'm not going to buy crucibles. Uh, it's just, in my opinion, a waste of money. A crucible is going to cost me $100 and up, depending on size. And they're such low temperature metals, I don't need the capacity of uh, a quality crucible. So I'm going to use uh, steel and preferably stainless steel, but I don't have direct access to any of that. Uh, so I've been waiting for a while to come across something good to make a crucible out of, and here we go. Um, uh, we're doing some restructuring in my plant and uh, we moved a, a very large air compressor and this was actually a, a, a moisture trap of some sort and it was just quite beefy I mean that's like a probably 3 8 steel and uh, it, it's a, just on the, on the maximum end of my diameter uh, Frank will take uh, it's got an ID of just shy of 11 inches and uh, this is just a hair over 9 I think so it's going to be pretty tight, but um, for aluminum, this should work out fairly well. Maybe not <laughs> trial and error, but uh, I, I don't come across something that's useful very often. And I, I like the, the thick shell. It's, it's, once I heat it up, it's going to hold the heat, and the odds of this deforming are pretty slim. Anyways, I need to make this a half use in crucible. So um, there was a top half to it, a bunch of cast iron pipes off of it. I cut this chunk off just to make it useful. And uh, in the bottom was a drain, which I uh, which I cut off. So I chucked that up in the in the lathe, and the drain was out here somewhere, and I was, and I cut that off. So now I'm going to put a flat bottom on it, and uh, I'm going to cut. I'm going to put a spout on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut a slot, and then take a piece of angle iron, stick it in there tack it all together, grind it down, and just give me a little pouring spout. And uh, drill a hole here, drill a hole there for some lifting apparatus. And then I'm going to put a little tang down at the bottom and I catch that and whoosh, so I can tip it. So anyways, so uh, where I'm at now is I need to make the plug for the bottom. And uh, I just took some, some uh, a chunk of sheet, cut it out, uh, ballpark the, uh, the, uh, the circle. And I, I just tack welded it to this, this is a project boring uh, boring bar head that I never got off the ground and was sitting in the scrap bin so I'm just tacked out to that make it run true it's uh spins pretty solid so uh, I'm just gonna come in here and just zip, 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 turn that down to make it fit in there do I need to be that accurate no I mean I'm gonna weld it all up anyway but I could sit there with a grinder and make a whole whack load of dust and just be a god-awful mess but I figure I'll do it this way and uh, I'll true that up, make a nice little snug fit because I turned this down on the lathe as well. So it's a nice clean true hole. So I can just size it to fit and I'll tack it from the inside and it can be a nice flat surface. So uh, that's project one tonight. I've got many going, going on. And hopefully this won't be too heavy. Whole whack of aluminum there. I might need to do some mass see if I could even lift that. I might have to scrap the whole thing. That would suck. But anyways. So that's where we are tonight, uh, project one. Uh, I'll update you when I'm done.